well, it looks like my package of parts arrived. I say we go ahead and open this thing. Let me go and start cutting this open. All right. Okay, so what it looks like is my, uh, some of my parts actually arrived, not all of them. Only these wooden blocks that I ordered I'm gonna use for the structure of my gorilla. Um, one of these will be the base and I'm gonna start working um, a little bit uh, on this right now and I'll do what I can. Okay, you guys, so this is one of the uh, wooden blocks and this is what I'm using for the head plate. Um, this will be uh, going inside of the gorilla's head and I'm gonna attach a door hinge to this and to the rest of his body. And then uh, he can move his head up and down. On the back of his head, I'm gonna attach a shorter uh, version of this, a shorter version of this piece, which I'm gonna cut onto the back of his head. I'm gonna hot glue that, put a hole in it. So that way I can use, uh, I can put this through the hole, this rod and uh, this rod will be pulled by the servo, which is gonna be down below, and that will move his head up and down. I will cut to uh, whenever I finish cutting this piece. All right, everyone. Um, it's been a few days later, and I have received the rest of my parts. Um, so as you can see, uh, since the last time I talked to you guys, what I received was uh, my wood, my wooden blocks that I'm using to build part of the um, head. And this is the main head part. So this right here, this piece, is going to pull the head. Kind of hard to demonstrate right now since I don't have the door hinge on here connected to this piece of wood. Bottom line is it's going to go up and down. And this is going to be pulled by a servo so it can go up and down like that. And then I also received the rest of my uh, parts from Fright Props, um, which is just some metal, um, I guess, metal beams and uh, some linkages. And I've already assembled one of the arms. It's very, very simple. Um, it's just this, um, I guess, metal beam on this servo. And it simply goes like this down 180 degrees and up 180 degrees, Hang on, let me, there we go. And the head's gonna go up and down as well. So that's pretty much it. And I have my power supply, my Pico servo is inside of here, and these are the other two servos. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I will cut to when I finish assembling the rest of the body. Well, I have finished assembling the majority of the body now. There's only one thing that's wrong with this, And I think you can see why. <laughs> Dang hinges have not arrived yet from Amazon Prime. I am still waiting on my hinges to come so I can mount this head onto this piece. Other than that, he's, he's done. And um, I, I think it's everything I wanted it to be. Um, the arms are moving really well, in my opinion, extremely smooth. Um, and this is what his head will look like eventually, but you know what? I think this is going to be the last part in the build series before I do the, um, f final video, which will be just a kind of a cinematic, uh, video of him, if you will, where I just take a video of him, um, probably outside in my backyard. So it looks like he's in a jungle setting because he's a gorilla, um, but, you know, you can pretty much get a good idea of what this looks like um, with the skeleton and just by my just by uh, holding his head on this piece of wood, you can kind of see how his head will move. So, yeah, once I get that uh, his head situated and I put his um, all of his skin on, uh, he will be complete. And that will be my uh, what is it now? Let's see here. One, two, three, four five, 
I think sixth animatronic I've built so far. So um, here's to the seventh, hopefully in the next uh, rest of the year. Um, and I'm gonna decide on what that might be. Maybe a pirate because I have been wanting to do a pirate now for a little while. Uh, but other than that, you can see I have him done here. And um, yeah, all I need to do is just mount his head and put his skin back on. And uh, once that's done, he is done, and I will uh, do a reveal for you guys, and um, all will be great. So I will see you guys in the um, reveal video, I guess, of uh, this character. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, somewhat of a series. Um, not too long, because I, I, I kind of felt like this would have been a longer process, but in reality... I got all my parts fairly quick besides, of course, those hinges, and um, everything worked out for me, so that's uh, fantastic. Um, so yeah, it's, he's, he's working great so far. Everything was situated. Everything's fitting correctly. Uh, my design completely worked out, so um, I'm very uh, proud of this. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, and uh, this is the back side of him. Uh, this is a servo that controls his head which is obviously on the ground. And uh, this is his Pico servo controller, which is also in this guy. Um, I used a Pico servo in my uh, dinosaur, and it works extremely well. I highly recommend, I highly, highly recommend this controller to any uh, beginners in animatronics or even robotics. This thing is great. Uh, if, you, if you're controlling uh, under four servo motors, uh, anything above five you can't do, but or anything above four you can't do. But if you if you have uh, up to four servo motors, get this controller if you're a beginner because it is extremely easy to use. So get that controller. It's on Fright Props. Very good uh, piece of uh, I guess equipment. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, do all the stuff you need to do. Put the notification bell if you want to get. Notif uh, notified whenever I upload a new video uh, and I will see you all on the flip side.